All it takes is a wrinkled green screen and an iPhone held just right. Turn this cluttered little Welsh box to a Brooklyn rooftop at midnight. I'm still tripping over cables, but I'm flying scene to scene with my jet set dreams and a wrinkled green screen. Tripod Welcome back to the channel. I love to brag about uh, jet set. Uh, and how you can go on the road and create some virtual production with a green screen, a wrinkled green screen, and your iPhone. Uh, I am definitely pushing the limits this time, as you saw with my uh, time-lapse opening. I am in an Airbnb, a new Airbnb for me in Wales. Uh, a nice little place with a view of the city, but uh, not a lot of room for uh, a green screen, and um, not a lot of room for getting the green screen up above my head. So I'm carefully watching my confidence monitor to make sure I don't walk off the screen. Uh, or I don't go beyond or above the green screen, but I, I think it's working. Is it perfect? Probably not um, uh, But you know in a normal situation you would be perhaps in a studio not in a small Airbnb in a city called Cardiff in the country of Wales uh, But we'll have some fun anyway my, my topic at this time we've got a couple, couple of themes um, The Gaussian splat what's, what's really interesting with the Gaussian splats as I continue to experiment is when you go into that marble uh, AI website to create your splats uh, it will create a splat, and we've been doing some work with those 360 or those 3D splats. You have another option, though. You can export as uh, a 360 equi rectangular, and that takes you back to the beginning of this channel where we are talking about blockade labs and 360s. I'm finding now with, with this new website and some new AI, you can create some very realistic 360s, and we're preparing to, do, uh, to use this very set for our broadcast over here. Um, the Butown Buzz, where we'll do the weather next week. Uh, students are designing a set very much like this. But we're going to do it in 360. And, and, and the reason for that, I'll explain it a little more with my voiceover, but with the 360, you don't, you don't have some of the issues you tend to have with a splat uh, or it didn't render perfectly. The 360 kind of flattens it out a little bit, so you're not going to get the parallax, um, but it's still a pretty cool way to do some virtual production in an environment where you uh, can't necessarily walk around and have a camera follow you, but you do have, it, d it does feel like you are in a 360 room and essentially you are, although it's in 2D. So let's cut to a voiceover. When we come back, we'll be in a different environment, a different set. I'll be right back. In this case, we have a really cool, dark, dystopian environment that began as a photograph reference image in Marble AI. A splat was created and I produced this 3D cinematic look at the environment. It's pretty cool, and out of the box, we can prep it for upload to JetSet. If we have Marble export the image as a 360 image, we can upscale that to 6140 by 3072 in a program if you're choosing, and then obviously import the 360 as an image right into JetSet. The inconsistency of the quality render is much improved as a 2D circular image, but often this is really all we need for our films and broadcasts. For many of us, a photorealistic 360 degree background is all we need for our productions. One more nice feature or option that we have with the 2D images, even with the 360s, are that they can be edited and enhanced using programs like Photoshop. Adding our show's name to the studio floor was an easy process. And we're back, thought I'd try something different for the outro. This was a, a 2D picture that I took in an airport uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, so just for something different, a regular 2D image and with some simulated tracking, um, uh, maybe we can make it look real, add a little bit of, of reverb. I will be continuing to produce uh, the Jet Set Lightcraft Academy videos while I'm in Wales, another, uh, just about another three and a half weeks here. Uh, then back to San Diego and we will continue as well. Headed to Belfast uh, tomorrow. We're going to try to shoot some, some um, architecture, some interiors in Belfast and come back and then uh, have some fun with you, uh, doing what we can with that. Thank you for your emails. Really appreciate uh, the questions. I'm addressing some of them in an upcoming episode uh, about Jet Set and how to really, really key in uh, and get, to get the best chroma key that you can. Uh, I appreciate the uh, emails and uh, especially appreciate when you subscribe to this channel. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.